Good morning, everybody. I've already begun taking off my bungees. Got the other side off. Just got to do this side in the back yet. Under here, we got five steel coils, just like those ones you see right over there. So let's get this tarp off. Get the freight off, and then I get to head home. And that's it. They're right over there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go home. Some of those low bed trailers are so low, like literally inches from the pavement. They must rub up on everything. I guess they, they must reinforce the bottom of those trailers or something so that they're made to drag because you know that they must drag all the time. They have to. We're back at the, the Husky real quick. Breakfast of champions. And now we're bringing the trailer back to the yard and then we're taking Old Blue back to my shop. We're going home for the rest of today and tomorrow. And the following day I'm gonna do one more quick trip to end off the week. We're celebrating that we're back from the Arizona Banff Rounder. My favorite Reese's Pieces. Actually, this is my second favorite of the Reese's Pieces. This is the big cup with those little uh, things in there. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but uh, my favorite ones are the ones with the caramel on the bottom. Oh, so good, but they didn't have them. It's harder to find those in Canada. I, I, find, see that the, I find that there's way more variety in the US for Reese's Pieces. But anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm being bad, I'm celebrating because it's raining, but I'm going home. Let's get moving, home's not getting any closer. Lights are on, always, but especially today because it's raining. Off we go. Is that my wiper making that squeaking noise? That's new. Oh, oh, I thought it stopped. Oh, there we go, it's, it'll stop. There we go, it stopped.
windy out. Always, always windy. All right, we just shut her down. Got her in the shop. Lots to do now. Everything in here has to come out, be cleaned. All of these towels underneath there that protects my floor. These, I'm not sure if you noticed, uh, these broke off on me in Colorado. So I had to replace them at the Kenworth dealership uh, in Jun Grand Junction, Colorado. I don't think I filmed that. I don't think it was part of the vlog. I was just trying to get it done so quick. I was so frustrated. And they only had the amber ones. They didn't have uh, the clear lens ones. So I ordered new clear lens, but I also bought these because I had to have these. Uh, by law, you have to have them on your fender there, right? This side light here is very important. That uh, is one of the mandatory marker lights we have to have. Every truck and every vehicle you'll see will have an amber light on the side of the fender somewhere, whether it be at the front by the light up there. It's one thing you have to have. So, uh, these should be waiting for me at the mailbox already, so I can replace them whenever I get a chance. But for now, those are on there, and those will be my spares. Oh, so, I'll have a spare set whenever uh, I need them. There's a lot to unpack. Everything's got to be washed. I've been on the road for uh, oh, what was it, 11 days, week and a half. So it wasn't uh, the longest of long trips. You know, I've been on trips that have been almost four weeks before. A lot of you out there have probably been on trips that have been several months. But whenever I come home, especially from a bit of a longer one like this, everything comes out of the truck, gets cleaned, and then I get everything back in the truck when I'm ready to go and I start my next trip completely fresh. Everything smells like fresh laundry. It's wonderful. And then I'm happy. Well, my new parts are in. Well, my new lights that I was just talking about. That's what I don't like. See, they have those actual nuts in there and those nuts can break out of there if you crank down on it too hard and you tighten it up too much, those will pop right out. That's how those other ones broke apart. So you gotta be careful. I mean, they still work, you just can't over tighten them. Whereas the OEM ones, the ones that I have on the truck now, you can crank those as hard as you can. They, they, as far as I'm concerned, you're not gonna break those. But I like these better. Well, we're in Dollarama. I have to get a gift bag. It is Mother's Day on Sunday, and I got my wife something. Now I need a nice gift bag to put it in. There's some fake flowers. Shoot hate me. 